the guy that makes trouble. And uh, this is a show called Don't Make Trouble. And it's closed. So that's why we're inviting you. No. Uh, it's, I made trouble, and I, we're doing this show after the show is closed. So don't try to come down to the Brecht Forum. The Brecht Forum. At 79 Leonard Street. Telephone number? Uh, don't go there. It's at, uh, the telephone number is, uh, I'll tell you about that later because there's another show. To call up. for events. Yeah, well, for other, I'll, I'll tell you that at the end of this uh, terrible introduction. Uh, you might ask what the Brecht Forum is. Well, it's, it, among other things, it has art shows like this and has cultural events. And you, uh, you remember Bertolt Brecht, and it's also affiliated or part of the Marxist school. But as Marx said, a je ne suis pas un Marxiste. I am not a Marxist, but I'm sort of a quarter of a Marxist. I'm actually, see, Marx was correct, I believe, in his analysis. He was very acute, and he did us all great service. And he, a great man in his brain. And um, I w if, if I had to describe myself, do I have to? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I would say I'm a... Uh, Democratic communist with a small d, a small c, and uh, people have, have called that art, uh, anarchism, but that's a very loose term. Anyway, uh, this is a school for radicals, and not everyone here is a Marxist, and has uh, a very interesting uh, courses and events here, uh, not all uh, for the mind. There was a Passover Seder here. Liberation Seder last night. I hope all the Jews are now liberated. I don't like uh, the Haggadah because it tells you how to kill, how uh, wonderful it was that God killed Egyptian babies. But what does God know, right? He doesn't know what he's doing. He's out of his mind. Anyway, uh, so uh, you, you should also actually if you're interested in the courses here, send for their catalog. It's at 79 Leonard Street, uh, New York, New York, 10013. Their phone number for events is 941-0332. That's 941-0332. And at the end of this, I'm going to tell you about another art show that's coming here, so be listening. Now we'll just sort of walk casually through this wreck of a show. Part of the car some of the cartoons are falling down, but we like to keep it that way. Section. All right, uh, and then in the first section, well, did you get this Reagan cartoon? It's a uh, Chris Funkhouse in Santa Cruz made this for me. Okay. Uh, so you, you, so you'd like to know how how the I'll show got there, its right? name, right? All right, here. This is a joke. I, sometimes I take other people's work and I embroider it. So this is credited to Folk Plus Tuli. This is a joke I heard. Berlin. Okay, Jewish, Yiddish pigs, your ass is live. Wait, I got a last request, a cigarette. Are you kissing? Shoots is you bastards. No, no, shithead. It's in the Geneva Convention. Shh, Moshe, Moshe, don't make trouble. Okay, and the first section is divided into sections, all in the family. That is sort of the radical family. Carl. She was German, too. Carl, when the fuck are you going to get a job? They had trouble making ends meet. She's writing this capital, but... That, that great humanitarian, Friedrich Engels, uh, Practically supported them practically their entire life in uh, London. He did it off the uh, profits of uh, his father's uh, cotton mills in Manchester. Go figure out the ethics of all of that. I'll leave that to you. Okay. Let's see. Honor our. We're only going. We got to skip around. Honor our Vietnam vets. I think you can pass the list. You can. Re you just read the list. Or you read it to yourself. I don't want to name them all. And 
Right, Jackson, Dean Johnson, Martin Luther King, Nelson Cross, John Krebs, John Lennon. All right. Sam uh, was murdered at Attica. Gus Reichbach, just named a judge. Yeah, his head beaten up at uh, Columbia and nearly lost his law degree. Benjamin Stock, Alan Tobias. But he's a good judge. If you can keep that in your contradictions. He's the one who just handed out condoms to uh, prostitutes. prostitutes. Actually, he's only a civil court judge, so he got, he was a substitute. There. Okay, here's another one I like. Uh, yeah. This is what Lenin said, that every cook a commissar, meaning he wanted uh, democracy and no elitism. But we changed it back to every commissar a cook. And I like this one. Do you know there's sometimes little connection between a particular element of the cultural superstructure of a society and its economic base? No, but if you can hum a few bars, I'll try and fake it. Uh, don't look back. Someone's gaining on me? Nah, no one's watching at all. All right, here's the table where cartoons were 10 cents each. And, uh, this is back to the new age. Back to the new age. I, I'd like to read this one. This is a woman who gives you your uh, past life regression therapy and she cures uh, ill health, allergies, and others and your human your future potential overweight wallet what being in the womb and the birth experience is like she's now offering training in past life therapy for professional counselors so this is a letter i got in the mail it said dear shayla mattingly i am writing you because i am one of the few beings alive today who in my past life was a past life regression therapist and who is today an exposer of the hoax of past life regression theory. Although in my past life I was a past life regression therapist and made loads of cash, I am convinced that it is completely useless as a means of soul advancement because today I am a lowly dung carrier in Chumba, Nepal, a small town 200 miles from Kathmandu. I know I am being punished for my sins as a purveyor of the false, quote, science of past life regression therapy, and I sincerely hope you will take my sad lesson to heart and quit now to avoid this sadness in your future lives. Yours in comma, Aram Dungali. A very intimate friend of mine uh, helped me do this. What if the world is just a figment of my imagination? And I was sort of ignored, so I had to get my licks and I said, what if you're just a figment of my imagination? You don't have that good an imagination. These were colored in by uh, Thelma Blitz. Colorization by Thelma Blitz. I think we should move on now. Moving right along. Uh, we're going to we're going to skip a lot of the ones that have too much reading in it because this is only a 29 minute show. Y Yank, go home. Chosen peoples, you see, once you put an S on that, you really got a problem, right? This is the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. You remember the uh, the world is going to the U.S. is going to go uh, crazy soon about. Uh, Columbus. That great slave trader, Cristobal. Yeah, slave trader and thief and uh, torturer and Maria. murderer, mass murderer. Wasn't the Santa Maria uh, wrecked on her first voyage? One of them was wrecked. Yeah, the well, one. Santa Maria. Well, the flag. One, on one of his other voyages, uh, he, got, he got wrecked. Speaking of flags. He got wrecked in Jamaica, and uh, the rest of his uh, compadres loved him so much that they let him hang there for six months without coming to rescue him. Hey Ann, what's the difference between religion and patriotism? I'll bite. Close. When a dog howls at the moon, that's religion. Oh yeah. Whoa. And when a dog barks at a stranger, woof, woof, that's patriotism. Uh, Dave Jordan helped me do that. Uh, 
The scientists said roast beef made England what she is today. Way to bring more vegetables. Black ducks don't fuck white ducks. A relative of mine once told me that. And a woman says, who wants to fuck a duck? <laughs> and uh, this is sarcasm, folks, so these are not... This is not me talking. Trouble with you niggas is you want to be superior like us. You know that the Jews aren't perfect. Yeah, everyone makes mistakes. Uh-huh. Yeah, what's one of them? Uh, what one? Um, uh, I can't think of any. What I thought, yeah, what I thought. Um, uh, Spanning the world, the cartoon. Burn people, not flavors. Did you get that one? You all remember yeah, this. This is it. Vietnam. All right, let's go on to the next uh, problem. Thank you. Yeah. Are we ready? And the next section is a little title. Here's uh, this Tommy title: Rats. Tommy Rats and and what? Capitalist pigs. And let's get this. This is a really nice Van Gogh that Thelma did. Living in color. Yeah, she makes them look better than they really are. It gives them three dimension. It's a Van Gogh, I think. Tony Van, Van Gogh. Gogh yeah, okay. Uh, fighting over their slice of the pie. Do you see the uh, subtle lettering there? And uh, let's see. Rise and flicker. Here's one that hasn't gotten enough exposure. I don't want to go back to the shit mines. You gotta go back to the shit mines. I don't want to go back to the shit mines. You gonna go back to the shit mines. Uh, this is, uh, I, f uh, I found this in a uh, Carl Sandburg uh, story. Private property, keep out. Private property, keep out. Get off my land. Can't you read that sign? Your land, did God give it to you? No, my father. Where did he get it? From his father. Where did he get it from? He fought for it. Okay, then, I'll fight you for it. Not exactly a pacifist idea, but there's a great truth in there. This is the, the answer to the productivity uh, complaint. You know why the U.S. is so far behind? Not enough productivity. Uh, trouble with this country, nobody wants to work anymore. Jimmy, let's go to the track today. Whoa, okay. Uh, all right, let's move on to ecology. Here's one that was actually done by Mr. Kenfield, the producer the of our show and the cameraman. You want to read it, Lanny? This park closed for your convenience. He says to drink it, Socrates. It's organically grown. Uh, I'll have an order of uh, ham and eggs. What do you have, Herb? I don't know yet, but it ain't going to be pig's ass and avian over. Uh, How about the one man's meat? Huh? I like that one. And this one? Yeah. If millet was as plentiful as grass, it was. See, millet was uh, the millet was the yeah the grain of, the grain of the poor people. Rice was actually upper class in those days. Uh, let's go forever forward to uh, sport. Yeah, this is. It's called hay this, sport. When you get that. Yeah, uh, yeah, this actually looked better when it was enlarged. You can see what an excellent uh, great draftsman one. I am. Everyone, I think, has uh, some good drawings in them. I can't draw worth a shit, but. This is a good drawing. 
The Spartans invent football. That's, that's enough of that. And uh, now the Kiddo Chariot. The. Oh, all right, fuck face. I'll eat the fucking cereal. Jeez, I wonder where the fuck our darling daughter is learning such language. Oh. There are now more Marxists on American university faculties than in American factories. What does this prove? Prove. It pays to get an education. <laughs> If winter is here, can spring be far behind? If spring is here, can winter be far behind? Uh, Lanny just ran uh, back to shut the door. I, I, a little extraneous noise never uh, heard. Okay, I'm going to walk in front of the camera now because I want to. I want to tell you a little bit about Harvard. They have had some good graduates. The best one, if I wasn't a pacifist, was their law school graduate, the class of in the 60s, I think. He turned out to be a Puerto Rican nationalist and is now doing time in Connecticut for uh, holding up an armored tr uh, truck in, somewhere in uh, New England. Well, here, there was Cotton Mather, Remember Salem. John Adams passed the Alien and Sedition Act. Rutherford B. Hayes stole the presidency. William Randolph Hearst and Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, they reveled in Cuba. They reveled, actually, Hearst helped to really start that war. J.P. Morgan was a World War I profiteer. I think he was indicted for that. Talcott Parsons, the head of the sociology department, sponsored Nazi uh, intellectuals in the U.S. John F. Kennedy. I think will be remembered for establishing the Green Berets. Nathan Pusey, the president, Battle of University Hall, 100 kids had their shit beat out, uh, out of them uh, by, by the police clubs of about half a dozen uh, a local uh, police forces around Cambridge. Kissinger, uh, you know, the Vietnam no Christmas the noblest, time. the noblest. Cap Weinberger was in it was under his, uh, his watch, Grenada, and Elliot Abrams, the Nicaragua boy. So you can always tell a Harvard man by the blood on his hands. No, that's not fair. It is a, li it is a alas, our most liberal, our best liberals college. Uh, this was at the beginning of the war, of the Persian Gulf War, when it seemed funny. Okay, uh, 10,000 men, this was, some representative quoted this, who was opposed to the war during that famous vote, remember? Actually, the, uh, the, peace, pro the peace proposal lost only by three votes which, in the Senate, which shows uh, some of the benefits of uh, mechanical democracy in our country. Anyway. He said, one of his uh, farmer constituents had quoted that to him, 10,000 men went to war. 10,000 men were dead. But had 40 impatient statesmen gone, and only be 40 dead instead. Uh, there are no atheists in foxholes. Too smart. Well, let's see what this says. The Mideast. What a waste. At least if the soldiers would eat, would they kill? Other animals are smart enough to do that. Bye, Mom. This My mother actually told me this before World War I. This has got to be. Goodbye, darlings. Kill those bastards. Rip their guts out. Uh, madam, you know, your son could get killed in the war. My son? Why would anyone want to kill my darling boy? Um, let crit our fought the bemused muse. Let me get that. Uh, the, uh, 
You want to get the, the red one. And we move over to the red one. When I hear the word culture, I reach for my gun. When I hear the word gun, I reach for my culture. Seven arts. Seven arts. What are the seven arts? Publicity, imitation, ass licking, crony criticism, fake bios, government grants and investment. I'm going to be discovered after I die. Jeez, I hope it ain't too long after you'll stink like hell. That's the old immortal series, the old fucks at home. Here's uh, John Keats. Beauty is truth, truth, beauty. That is all you need. That is all you know on earth. But not all you need to know. This guy's carrying a dispossess. Um, Whitman said, in order to have great art, you have to have great audiences. Walt said that? Yeah. You know what I say? What? In order to have great audiences, you have to have great art. I hate poems about poems about poems. Why? Oh, the years I wasted on the Lower East Side. That's in Cafe Bill. Yeah, well, where else would you have wanted to waste them? Um, Dr. Kipnis. Uh, that's two. That, you have a third. What? No, let's forget that. That's uh, two. That's know. putting down artists. Life does follow art too much of me, but in a taxi. Um, from the Soho series. Yeah, let's see. There was one. Oh, yeah. Let's do two more here, and then we'll right. then we'll do a pen. Here's a brilliant idea. This is the uh, the Water Publishing Corp. Here's a brilliant idea. It's for a multi-volume set called Who's Not Who. <laughs> it consists of everyone who's not in Who's Who. And uh, this was sort of Jack Kerouac's saying, supposedly. Actually, it's a he got it from some Buddhist, uh, some old Buddhist. First thought, best thought. What's your first thought? Uh, my first thought is last thought, best thought. Okay, so this might be continued indefinitely in another uh, in another uh, show. But uh, let's sort of pan around and we get a better look of uh, of. Uh, of what this room is like. This is the main room of the uh, Breck Forum and uh, Marx's school. Uh, a lot of people have done a lot of nice things here. And uh, there's going to be another event here that uh, hopefully. You want to go out to the bowling board? Or? No. Uh, I want to talk about the, uh, the coming event. We'll do that maybe on a, uh, I could show the catalog. I think I'll do that. But uh, starting on the uh, third, I believe. This hold up means a wall. This is their catalog. Up means the wall. Yeah, and you can you can uh, see they they were. The, it's the Breck Forum, 79 Leonard Street, and the phone number. Because I want to tell you about the next show, which will be April, starting April 3rd. It's going to be an, an, art, an art show of anti-war uh, materials and uh, paintings and uh, graphics of all kinds. And uh, Kevin O'Neill is organizing that. And uh, I think there'll be about 35 different artists and you should call first because the hours here are irregular. The uh, number again is uh, in New York City, 941-0332. And if you want to send for a catalog, it's at uh, 79 Leonard Street, New York, New York, 10013. Now, in the time left, we might as well uh, do a few more. Time for... 
Mixed up media. Mixed up media. Uh, Herb Matlin sold out. What did he do? He went from screw to the Times. Yeah, this is the spot illustrations for the New Yorker magazine. I th they wouldn't accept any of them, though. Maybe you could focus in on each one. And, uh... I bet our old age home. Maybe I could read this one. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Uh, two of these are real and one of these are made up. Corrections, you all remember that from the time the page. Because of an editing error, an article in some editions of Business Day yesterday about the new law firm of Myerson and Cohen incorrectly described the financial status of Booth, Marcus and Pierce, a law firm whose partners joined the new firm. Booth, Marcus and Pierce specialized in bankruptcy law. It was not bankrupt. Get that? Not well, yet. Right now. Okay. An article in the living section yesterday about duck research misidentified a center that serves as a kind of, quote, fat farm, end quote, for ducks. It is the Cornell University Duck Research Laboratory. Get that? In Eastport, Long Island. And last but not least, the New York Times regrets that since the purchase of the paper in 1896 by Adolf S. Ox, its editors have presented a distorted view of American and world history due to the fact that they are part of the ideological superstructure of U.S. and world capitalism. They would hope to do better after the social revolution and beg their readers' indulgence until that time. We have one minute more. Uh, It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your brains are? Yes, Eyewitness News presents uh, where your brains are. Uh, I know, I, which is the worst local uh, news broadcast? What do you yeah, think? It's hard right? to tell. Uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, channel 9, Channel 11. The, uh, no, I, I, I'd go, I have to go with Channel 7. 7. 7's pretty bad. I remember the Buffalo, I, I watched Buffalo local news once. They had four, they, they started off, they had four murders in a row, and then two or three fires. I like to be in a town so small, the lead story is a one-car auto accident, no one hurt, $200 damage to the... Dream on. No, I would like to be there, too. Come on, let's go. Uh...